I'm going. So remember here, off top, you can tell in this first one, the first thing I need is the center, and we should be able to tell that the center is what? Zero, zero. Yeah, zero, zero for the center. <laughs> the vertices. Yeah. So of course you see that your A, don't forget that's plus or minus five and plus or minus five for both of them. But look though, one of them got to be plus or minus five, zero. And then zero. And the other one, zero plus or minus five. Maybe I should color coordinate that so we can see the make the difference between the two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that'd be F, I mean, no, C squared equals A plus B squared. Now remember, thank you, Josh, that this time with the hyperbolas, the foci is different. You add the A squared and the B squared. So the foci in this case, yeah will be 50, but you got to take the square root of 50, making it plus or minus what? What's the square root of 50? Somebody got it. 7.07. Uh -uh, a little lower than 10. What's the square root of 50? Because remember, the square root of 49. 7.07. 7.1? 0.7. So that should be 7.1. I'm going 7.1 on that one. But what's wrong with this? What don't we know? What do you know? Is this horizontal or vertical? Hold on. Hold on. Talk about it. The direction is also what you need. I heard that in the back. Direction is which way? Why? Oh, yeah. Why? Because the Y came first. So you know that this one is going to be vertical. Whatever numbers, whatever letter comes first, that's the direction it's going. So, anytime. Yeah, only with hyperbole. So, if the X came first, like in this one, it would be going like this. Horizontal, because the X came first. Why come first this time? How can you tell the difference between the hyperboles and the one you were doing before? They're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. They are going to tell you. Yeah, they're going to tell you. And then you're going to know because the foci is going to be different. You're going to have to add the foci for the hyperboles. The ellipses, you'll subtract the foci. Okay. Yeah. So your foci on the y-axis should be zero plus or minus 7.1. Now all that's left is to do is graph it. Your initial graph should be on plus or minus five and zero. Come on, y'all. And then Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? What about it? Five on the Y. Five on the Y. It's a square. Got it. Then we go ahead, put that square in. I'm definitely going to need to see y'all squares. <laughs> yeah. So when you grab the hyperbola this time, you plot your points, you plot your major vertices, you plot your minors. Oh, I'm sorry. You plot your major vertices, but in this case is the red. The minor vertices are on the xy's, and then you have to draw a square out here this time with the hyperbolas. After you draw that square out, you then take the square. You got to go to the corners and make sure that you go through this through the origin, which is zero zero. In this case, which is like you said, Josh said zero zero. So you have to have a line going this way. Straight because it's a square, right? And the line's going that way. Is there like a reason? Or because that's reason gonna to outline to your hyperbola. Watch. Does it like ever change where I put the X? It will. Because now, which way we going? We get the the focus on the outside, right? Right. So it's a vertical focus. So you should be up and down. That means you're going this way. <laughs> Those, 
That's where it's at. So that's how your hyperbola should be grabbed. <laughs> then, Mayer was asking for the foci which fall on the major vertices, which is the direction of what? The y. y is 7.1. Come to 7.1, you just put an x there, and negative 7.1. X there, and there's your hyperbola. Can the foci and hyperboles ever be within the square? No, they always gonna be outside. Okay. So there's that's how you do number eleven with that. Huh? No, no. You know how you're dealing with the focus? When you graph it, you, you keep the X to kind of guide. The X guides the, the hyperbola. So make sure you go through the point and then align with the X. Because when I give you the acetones, which we're about to cover here, that's actually how you're going to graph it to make it more precise. What you're doing is just kind of giving a sketch. The folk guys, the folk guys stay with the major side. So if it's going vertical, the folk guys are vertical. If it's going outward, it's uh, horizontal, the folk guys are horizontal. Catch this? Nope. So now, hello. <laughs> All right, last part. The most challenging part is you got to put the acetopes in. You don't have to worry about trying to spell that word out. It's late in the year. I get it. Yeah. Now, remember the formula of the acetopes. Remember, it's Y minus H. Y minus H? Well, let me make this bigger. To the major. Remember, Fokai's vertical side. Fokai goes with the major side. Come back here. For the acetones, you can just highlight it as ASY. Who remembers the formula for the acetones? Remember, it's two different formulas. So it's one way if it's vertical, it's another way if it's horizontal. It's just you switch the A. Yeah. If it's in this case we vertical, so you know the A gonna be over the B this time. So it becomes Y minus H equals A over B X minus sorry, K. Y minus K times A over B, X minus H. My bad on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when you solve it, for this acetone, it should be, there's no value. Remember, the center is at zero. So it should just be Y equals your A value. Y'all in the back. Y'all got to chill out, man. Come on. All right. So here, I know, right, so I shouldn't hear you. Five over five. Times X. There it is for this case. A over B is just this case. Your A and B were the same. So you could have made it Y equals 1X or Y equals X for that one. Nope. I'm going to show you 12, which is like 13. Huh? See what I'm saying? There's your answer for real, for real. That's it? Yeah. Remember, we were on the five. You got to make sure you got it on the five. And the X outlines it. Wait, what's with the whole square thing? What square root thing? That's your four guys, bro. We already did that. Oh, okay. Remember, they, they simplified the five radical two, or you can just make it 7.5, 7.1. Mm -hmm. Right? I just wanted to show y'all so, so y'all can understand that we don't point. All right. Y'all good with that one? Yeah.
This look like this gonna be a homework. I'm gonna collect this in the morning from y'all. I need some space, so yeah, I'm gonna do 13. May here asks 13, so I got y'all on 13. So y'all got an easy on the look. When you go to the bottom, these two, just put these in um, hyperbolic format. These two. Well, do y'all need? Do y'all remember how to do these? Or do you need to see one? Huh? I'll go over one. All right, time out. I'll be good money when it's not center. Okay, we need to see one. Can we actually refresh on that? All right, bet. Here we go. Watch though, because this one going to get kind of. A little herky jerky, a little bit. <gasps> <coughs> Somebody exactly. Yes, first thing we gotta notice the center is off. I like talking. I don't know if you can tell me, but the number of me is the obvious. What's your center here? Zero, two. No. Oh no, one you're still, you're still yeah, bad. Wait, which one are we on? Three. Oh, I'm sorry. One and three. Yeah, that's one and three. I can't So if you want, you can go ahead and throw that on the chart. One and three will be here. As your centers. Now let's get those vertices. Well, time out. Which direction are we going? We going to go to the road. Good. Go horizontal, gang, because the X came first. Looks like you got lucky again. They gave you an A and B format. But remember, our center is off. So let's skip right past and go right to the A. You know the A is going to be two, but we got to add that to our center. So this is going to be two. Or actually, no, plus or minus, yes. hold on. Four plus or minus two. No. Four. Plus or minus two. Oh, that's right, two is my fault. Plus one and three. And the next one would be two. Actually, no, one. Making, I'm going to keep them in red. For, for this one, do you, how do you know what's the longest side? Because what came first? Oh, oh it just does, it just matters what comes first. Yep. In hyperbole. Whatever comes first, that's the met dominant side. So that's why we looked at it, she seen X, off top she seen horizontal. All right, so that means your dominant sides are going to be, no, negative one and three. And three and three. Negative one and three. Not three one, Max. How'd you get that? Where? Because the A value is two, but you gotta add that to the center. Our center is not zero zero this time, so our center now is one three. So it's plus or minus two plus that one and the three for the y axis. Then when we go to the minor vertice in the blue, you said our B was also two, so that's gonna be one plus or minus two plus three for the minor vertices. Making your small vertice one and five, and one and negative and one and one. So now we can just go plot them. I plot the minor vertices first. One and five is here. Big or little sister? Little. Oh, that's crazy. 
Tell them why you mad. Tell them why you mad. She's the first thing she does in the morning is insult me. The first thing she does. And then she takes the phone. And then she writes all my papers. Oh, yeah, that's little sister behavior right there. How old is she? How old are you, folks? Take my film to be that. Yo. All right. For no then the A values, negative one and three. A three and three. Go ahead and make that square. Now remember the dominant side. Oh wait, then we make our ends. Now remember, the dominant side is X now. The direction is horizontal. So now we are here. You gotta make sure you hit your point. You gotta make sure your hyperbola goes through your major point at that one, three, or negative one and three, and three and three. <laughs> That's how it should be grabbed. Our foci. What's the square root of eight? Is it? Is it? No. What's the square root of eight? Two point. That might be two point eight. The square root of nine is three. Remember though, that two point eight is not added to zero. That's plus or minus. So you got to add that 2.8 to which value? X. Thank you. So this becomes 1 plus 2.8. And 3. So now you got your foci should be 3.8 and 3 and 1.8. And 3, Magnus. Nah. Max yes. Negative one. That goes on the x-axis. So 3.8 is like somewhere close to four. Your axis here marked in the x's. Your first foci. Your next one should have been at 3.8. And three. Wait, wait, wait. Whoops, wrong side. Wait a minute. Yeah, you know, you don't know yeah make sure she touches. Should be at 1.8 and 3 is here. And then 3.8 and 3 is here. There's your two foci points in purple. Let me put them in green so you can see those. They should be here and there. That's good money right there. Mm -hmm. So you had negative, negative 1.8. Negative 1.8 is right before 2 and 3. And then 3.8 right before 4 and 3. This kid is still playing, bro. All right, y'all homework due tomorrow. Remember, you got to give me all five. Did y'all want to see one that's similar to these equations on the bottom? Yeah, you want to see one like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to give you these two, but I'm going to give you something that's similar to it. Let me see. So what it looks better? This looks better with these? I ain't about because you're going to get one like that. Why would I give you the answer? Let me show you. Why <laughs> not? <laughs> 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 
Calm down, please. You know it's gonna be a few quizzes coming like that. Remember I told you. Now I'm gonna open up the cons. You'll have an individual con, but we're gonna do one as a class grade, and that'll be a quiz grade too. And y'all know I got one of those 10 minute four question hyperbola questions coming as well. So I'm giving y'all plenty of opportune time to knock this down. Si, sí, senor. For the hyperbolas. Why do you use the hyperbolas? I don't know what they are. So, why do you add the guy to the. Why turn around? Like the foci, I don't get them. Why do you add it? I have. I'm not switching. I don't know. I just want to. Because you could just do the same thing by just. Well, no. If you subtract the foci, they they won't be on the outside. They'll be on the inside. No, no, no. I like for example, right? Meaning, if you subtract those. You could just do this and then do this. Right? I originally just did it. Uh, you said that in the back. And it could have wrong. Is it nice? Bye. 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 Okay, so I got this. I got this. That's a little guy. That was winning. It didn't work for you, then. Right? And then it was in. And then I just looked for the section of the right? And I just plugged it to it. That was a golden ass piece. That's what you do. Yeah, but it's. But this time it was sitting. This was just sitting. Yeah, wherever the center is. Yeah, I got it. That's what it is. Here. But you could just do less than that. No, no, no. Oh, you gotta add it to the center. You have to. 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 Wait, Mr. Watcher, what's the actual Ah, thank you. Hold on. Boss, I knew he was forgetting something. But like we were saying here, you see how we got two from today? Yeah. But then you got to add it to the one on that side. That's how you can. You can't just look at the center and just count out to the left and right. Oh, I mean, if you want to do it that way, you can't hear yeah. it. It's just like less math. Less math, but then the actual points, if they ask you for them, they're going to be 3.83 and negative one for them. That's what it is. The use because of the decimal All right. Real quick. Last thing. Uh, the asymptotes. Yeah. Basically. I had to eliminate the focus. Don't forget the acetose real quick. This time it's on the X axis. So the formula is changing. You got a different center. Your center was one three. Let me put it over here. Yo, y'all three, y'all two. Button up. I right. remember this time your center is one three. So your formula for your asymptote is going to be a little different. It's now going to be y minus the k, which is y minus three equals what came first this time. Uh, the the X. 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 So now it's B over A. When the X is first, it's B over A. When the Y is first, it's A over B. Oh. So now, in this case, it really didn't matter because both <coughs> your A and B is four. So it would be B over A, X minus one. So in conclusion for the acetone, it's y minus three, four over four, x minus one. You're gonna need that. Remember, when it's x first, b over a. When it's y first, a over b. The no ain't matter. Did y'all get that? No, you didn't. 
Well, you make it one. One over three equals one x minus one. And we're not trying to solve this. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing to solve. Yeah. Because all, what it is is a formula to show you how to plot the dot. So when x, you will plug in x for that, and it's going to give you a value for y. And that's where you put your dot at to make the curve more precise. That's what that is. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. All right. Last one. That was Naomi, Miami, cursing on camera. No, it was me. What are you talking about? Oh, that was Mara cursing on camera and Miami oh. snitching. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's crazy. All right, last thing I'm sure y'all remember this. Y'all are not this for homework. Uh, dot, 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 dot. You'll have something like this to not be confused. Next week, early. Huh? Going to be a I'm gonna get yeah, it's already recorded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you your own uh hyper our uh, own con con or hyperbolus to knock out on your own practice. And then when we do the quiz, we're gonna come here and we're gonna have people have to go up there and you gotta solve it. You're gonna have to write it out and push the correct button and solve it. It'll be a class grade. So it's gonna be random people going up there. First up, Stephanie. <laughs> All right, so look, when you see one of these tonight, y'all know I'm going to do the 10-minute quiz. Catch this so you'll know how to do it. I might even mess around and put the same problem up there. All right, so to put this in hyperbola, Format. First thing you got to do is only three steps. First step is to what? Think about it. What I got to do? Um, uh, combine. Combine like terms. Terms. Combine these like terms. Take the line on the outside. So I got the not got those combined, and I'm gonna combine the y's. And then you move to 163 over to make it positive. Take the four on the outside. This is literally how you're going to do this when you see these questions. Because y'all know that four question question here coming. Now you've combined like terms. That's the first step. Second step, complete the square. So take the first nine. What do you got to do with this nine? Factor out nine. This is going to become x squared. Minus 10x, make some space, plus, you got to take the 4 and factor it out. Negative 4, y squared, plus 8, y space, equals 163. Now remember that we factored out a 9 and factored out a 4. So when we go to this middle term, you got to divide by 2 and square. 10 divided by 2 squared, 25. Hold up, though. You got to take the 25 and the 9 over together. So over here, you'll be adding whatever 25 times 9 is to that 163. We'll do it in the end. 16, mister. What's 25 times 9? 25 times 9 and 16. Think about it. You've got 10 quarters. Eight quarters would be what? Two dollars. So nine quarters is what? 225. Come on. 225. You ain't gonna need them. You ain't gonna be able to use them next week. Well, help me out. No, it's nine. If I add these, at this point, this will make. Yeah. 388. So smart. Happy birthday. Okay, why are we getting 225? <laughs> because you got to take the 25 times the 9 over there. Remember here? You took 10 divided by 2 squared. 
It made five. But what did you do first? You factored out the nine. Yeah, the nine goes on the right side where the thing is. Mm -mm, right. You got to take the 25. You factor the 25 so you add the 25 times nine. Because over here you're doing 25 times nine. Oh, both the 25 and the nine going on So you got to add 25 times nine. Over here. Then, here. Look, Mayor, taking the center. Divided by two, don't forget you factored out of four, negative four. Yeah, so sixteen. Put sixteen on the right side and then negative four on the right side. So this is minus. So it's plus sixteen. So you'll be adding sixteen times four. Negative four. And we gotta add it to that. What's 16 times negative 4? Six, negative 64. Mm -hmm. So we just subtracting 64. So on the outside, we get 324. Cleaning this up. You now have 9. Two numbers that make 25 that come together to make negative 10. X minus 5 squared plus negative 4. Two numbers that make 16 that give me negative 8. Y minus 4 squared equals 324. Now you got to divide everything by 324. In conclusion, what? to simplify that down, 324. Wait, why is the 9 and the 4 so bad? And the 9, no, we simplify. So your answer, 9 over 324, turns this into x minus 5 squared over 36. Plus, what's 324 and the 4? 81. 81, I think that's, yeah, you're right. Become plus negative four. Oh, I'm sorry, no negative four. Becomes y minus four squared over 81 equals one. There's your answer. Simplify fraction. 324 divided by 324 make one. Negative 4 over 324, when you simplify that, that becomes the 4s cancel. And 324 divided by 4 is 81. Not, bro. You're simplifying. All we do is simplify this. Nah, because that should be. Yo. It's negative up top, so this is a negative 1 up top. All right, so, um, right? So that, when you divide those, oh. simplify to, to 81. Oh, and then oh, over here, peace, mom. Nine divided by nine is one, and then 36. I mean, nine and 324 is 36. So when you go to do the hyperbola, what's your A and B? Your A will be six, your B will be, I mean, your A will be nine, your B will be six. It'll be switched around. So yeah, what do you want to come first and get 36? But I just broke it down just because we were at a scratch. Because when we went here and we completed the square, we took the middle number 10 divided by 2 and it made that 25. When we added that, two numbers that multiply to give me 25 that add to give me negative 10. Negative 5. Negative 5, 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 negative 5. Two numbers that give me 16 that come together to give me negative 4, negative 4. I mean, negative 8, negative 4. Negative 4, negative 4, 16, negative 4 plus negative 4. And then once you get that, this 324 is what we have when we're adding all of those from over here. You get 324, you divide the entire thing by 324. That's how you get your one. So in conclusion, this question should be like this. Y minus four squared over 81 
minus Saxon subtract one. X minus five. No. Six. That's how it's got to Get out of my head. All right, yeah. So you got practice on that. We'll collect that one in the morning. Uh, I'm going to open some cons up tonight so you'll see them. The cons won't be doing until Tuesday of next week. Give y'all time. Boom.